On our morning show today, we are joined by Riverdale FFA uh, officers. And uh, boy, I'll tell you, they pushed him right to the front. The president has to go first. Good morning, Wyatt Storms. How are you? Good. How are you? Uh, doing real well. So this is your year as president. How's it been going? Uh, it's been going really good. We've done a lot of cool activities so far and have a lot more planned. Okay. So did you go to contest this year? Yep. Yeah, we, we did the leadership or LDs, and then we got CDs coming up here soon. Okay. So explain how those work and what those are. Uh, leadership or LDs are leadership development events. There's job interview. Uh, there's a bunch of different contests, creed speaking. And we had that at Ithaca, and now our sectional meet is at Southwest Tech. And does everybody go on to the next level, or do you have to get a certain grade to go nope, on? Nope, the top one and two or first and second place ones went on so me and Stella were the only ones that went on from Riverdale in job interview tell me what job interview is is like does that make you a little bit nervous yeah it makes you a little bit nervous you got to submit a cover letter job description and resume and then uh, they'll you go into a room and they'll ask you questions and you have to fill out a job application and just regular interview questions but what a good thing that is for the future, isn't it? Yeah, it definitely prepares you for future jobs, and you get a good resume started. So tell me about some other activities that the FFA has got going this year, Wyatt. Uh, well, coming up now is FFA week, so on Monday we'll go to Day on the Hill at the Capitol where we'll talk to uh, like Howard Mark Klein and Travis Channel, people from our district, and then we'll have FFA games. Uh, we got Food for America coming up in a few months. Uh, CDs, judging, so we got a lot to do yet. When you go to the Capitol, what are some things that you you like to bring up to the senators? Uh, we bring up a lot of our past uh, accomplishments and things that we've done at a chapter, and this ways that we help out in the or help out in egg. And is this your senior year? Yep, this is my senior year. Okay, it's going by quickly, isn't it? Yep, yep. Have For you sure. thought about next year, what you'd like to be doing? About? Yeah, next year I'm probably going to go on to school at a two-year college, probably. I might go down in Illinois, or I might just stay local, like Southwest Tech. Something in ag? Yep, probably ag business or animal science. All right, and uh, maybe have a farm as well? Yeah, so I grew up on a farm just right outside of Muscaday, and my plan is to come back to the farm after I complete school. Very good. So uh, that's awesome. Riverdale has a really active FFA uh, chapter. Is it the cool thing to, to be an FFA at Riverdale? Yeah, it is. I mean, Miss Cole came along and she gave us as students a lot of opportunities. And it's the, the things that she's done with the school farm and just helping out all the kids in classrooms and out of classroom experiences. Crazy. How's the farm doing? Oh, uh, it's doing really good. We got two good school farm managers that do a good job. Uh, we got a tree... Uh, forestry manager too. We got we just put up that new shed thanks to Jack Meister and their donation on that. But no, it's really cool that the students can get out there and learn on the farm. And and you know that it's a unique opportunity that not every FFA chapter has that opportunity, do they? No, not at all. And it really like for business classes and stuff. It shows you how the farm end of it works and how business and stuff works. What are some other things you're involved in at Riverdale Schools this year? I'm um, in National Honor Society, baseball, um, FFA, obviously. But When uh, the weather is nice, like some of the weather we've had this year, does it make you kind of get itchy to get out there and start throwing that ball around a little bit? Yeah, it definitely does. It's I don't know. The weather this year has been crazy, but yeah. And what position do you play with the Chieftains? Second base. Second base. Do you, does Kirk Thompson get you pitching once in a while in, too? Or? No, not really. I'm not a real big pitcher. But. Okay. Usually he has everybody give it a try. I know, yeah. So. Yeah, I've tried before. but Give it a shot. Yeah, exactly. So then at what point do the new officers get elected for the new year? Uh, we'll, well, we have people submit applications, and then we'll, as seniors, we'll sit down and put them where, they, where we think they should be. But that'll take place at the end of the school year. Okay. And uh, some people voted for you last year. So yep. That's, they must have seen some qualities in you. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's gone really well. Anything else you'd like to add about this year? No, not really. No. I appreciate you coming in, Wyatt. Yeah, thank you. And happy National FFA Week. We move from the president to the vice president. That's Caleb Tracy. How are you, Caleb? I'm good. How are you? Good. How's your year gone as vice president? It's gone really well. We're getting lots of people to come out, and uh, we're lots of activities going on, so it's been a fun year. So you're a junior this year? I'm a senior this year. Oh, you're a senior this year. Okay. Yep. So what are some things that you do 
to you know you go down the halls and you kind of recruit for the FFA? Uh, no, we go like have meetings during like an advisory times, like 20 minutes to like tell the people what they are. And I've talked to my friends and told them like the activities they can do. So we've got like a wildlife team coming together now, and like the SA tournaments that we do are like really fun. So the people enjoy coming out and watching them and doing them. So that's how we got more people out. And then we're planning more activities. Like we got a bowling meeting coming up. We're gonna come bowl and then we go snow tubing if we have snow that one's questionable still and lots of other things that we get to do so it's it's interesting ffa is a lot more than sows and cows as they say isn't it yes it is got a lot of things going on so some of those fun activities uh, uh bowling and things like that that just really builds group unity doesn't it yeah it does and it makes people like come out and think more of it ju- other than just like the livestock part of it so it's more appealing and people actually like come out to the meetings and get to know it more how many are in the ffa chapter at riverdale any idea i think we're right around the 80 but i'm not like 100 percent sure on that okay that's still really good numbers yes compared to your student population there. yes so wonderful so you became vice president uh, last year so what are some of the roles and duties of a ffa vice president so whenever the president's gone i'll fill in for him and I call the role of all the members at the beginning of the meeting, like ask them what their duties are, why they're there, and I'll just fill in wherever I need to throughout the whole meeting or whatever we're doing and just f- do my part. Did you go to contest? Oh, uh, yes. I go to the contest that, we, that we're, like, we're not required to do, but like are available for us. We'll go to them, and then I'm part of the livestock judging team for us, and then we'll have like assemblies. We'll have assembly next week for National FA Week, and I'm involved in that too. Okay, so you're you're involved in cattle judging a lot, right? Uh, not only with the FFA, right? Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. So, how's that been going for you? Uh, we haven't had any competitions yet. The first one will be in March, and hopefully, it'll go pretty well for us. Okay, some secrets or anything like that, or no secrets, just lots of practice. <laughs> you ever do the milk testing or tasting? No, nope, nope, you nope. don't do that one. No. Nope. Okay, I always wondered about that and how that went. So you're involved in some other things. We see it during basketball, don't we? Yep. Just basketball, and then I show sheep uh, during the spring and summer. Okay. Yeah, and that usually goes pretty well for you, doesn't it? It has been, and yeah. Mm -hmm. What are you looking at doing next year? Uh, I plan on attending a technical college for animal science. I'm just not sure what technical college yet. Okay. And then come back to the farm then perhaps someday? Perhaps, yeah. Or start my own farm somewhere, too. That'd be nice. Wonderful. And and what what would you raise if you, you had a farm? Uh, sheep. So you'd be mainly a, a sheepman then. So. Yep. Okay. Well, that's cool. Um, d- does Being in the FFA, does that give you some confidence to, to be involved in other things, too? Yeah, it does. It's helped me out a lot with like communication and just being like able to step up and other things and just talk to people. So it, I'd say it helped me out a lot. Sounds like a good group, and uh, you, you leave it in good hands when you graduate this year. Don't yes, you? we got a great group of people coming up to take our spots and continue on. At the at the farm, uh, have you done anything special there this year or anything? Uh, not yet. We're just finishing up lambing right now, so it's nice to start sleeping in a little bit more. Okay. <laughs> do you, so what time do you have to get up in the morning? To uh, I'm normally up by like 5.30, and then depending on basketball, it depends on when I go to bed at night. So it's, some days it's longer, but... It's all right. So you have to go tend to the animals then? And yep, we feed them, check on them, make sure everything's okay, and then go on with our days and keep doing it. Boy, that gets you really well-versed and suited for the farm then, doesn't it? Someday? Yeah, yep. Cool. Anything else you'd like to add today about Riverdale FFA? That's, nope. Kind of, that's it. All right. Yep. Caleb, thanks for coming along, and good luck in basketball, too. I know you're going to be starting the tournament here soon. Thank you. You and the team have really accomplished a lot this year, I think. Yeah, it's been a fun season watching us all grow and stick together, so it's right. been a fun group. Right, and, and you know, you've got all those seniors in, in the class. Um, it's rare that many seniors stay out for a sport. Yeah, it is, and it's cool to see us from middle school all the way up to now and sticking it out. You must like one another. Most days we do. <laughs> I bet. Thanks for coming in, Caleb. Thank you. You bet. Riley Wanick is our guest next from the Riverdale FFA. Riley, what position do you hold? I held a secretary. And what do you have to do? So during our meetings, I take notes on what the meeting holds and what we talk about in the meeting and keep record of that. So it's been a good year for the FFA? Yeah, it's been a pretty good year. We're kind of getting our busy season right now but because our springs usually get pretty busy busier than like the winter but what do you consider highlights of this year um probably like livestock or like our judging teams we got lds so that's like um leadership development 
activities and we got um con- some stuff with like we do with the little kids at our school and just teach them more about FFA. Do you remember as a little one looking up to the Riverdale FFA members at the time? Yeah, I always like they were always there and I've always looked up to them and they kind of pushed me to become an FFA member. Can middle school get involved in FFA at Riverdale as well? Yeah, the 7th and 8th graders can, but once they get over to the high school, they can join. Okay. So joining, uh, have you been there all four years then? Yep, I've been there. So I've been there all f- all through high school and through my junior high year, so 7th and 8th and freshman, sophomore, junior and senior. Have you held any other officer positions? Yes, last year I was the treasurer, and that was fun. So tell me about uh, any special projects you got going on at the school or anything? Um, we got, we're restoring a tractor right now. We finished one last year. That was a Farm B. I think we're going to raffle it off to, like, get it sold. And we got the school farms. We're going to plant it here in the next couple months. So, yeah, that's probably our biggest project. Hmm. And the greenhouse sales are... We're starting to plant the flowers, so that's getting on the roll. Listen for some announcements in the spring, because then you'll be selling some things. Right? Yep. Can't wait for that. And I want to buy a raffle ticket on that Farm All B, too, so let me know about that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what kind of tractor are you restoring this year, then? I don't really know. I think it's it's some kind of Farm All, but I don't know what the numbers are. On okay. It. Good opportunity for you to kind of learn yeah, about that. Yeah, it teaches. Because so our Egg Mech class does it, and it helps them. I think it's better than working on small engines because you can actually see what the engine goes into and what ca- what it can make. And those engines you can still work on, yep. the little ones, yep. and things like that. So at the farm, uh, do, do the students get involved with planting the crops for the next year? So we got, so I'm the forest manager, and we got two other school farm managers that usually run it. Some sometimes bring in another couple extra kids to help, but then. We'll do all the work, and Miss Cole will bring classes out and like watch what we're doing, and that she'll teach them, and we'll, that kind of gives them the experience, but not like so hands on, just like watching us do what we need to do and get it all done. So, do you work on that at the farm during the day? Do you have to have a pass to go out and work at the farm, or do you have? Yeah, um, usually Miss Cole just writes us a pass, and we get the day off, and we can go work at the school farm. Um, that's only. We only get a pass like three days a week for planting and harvesting and maybe sometime in the summer, but yeah. Um, you're involved in wrestling, obviously, and yep. the FFA give you some confidence there as well? Yeah. Um, it's Wrestling season gets to be a lot, but after wrestling season, FFA starts to pick up because the springtime gets super busy, and that's kind of when our busy season is. Do you go out for a spring sport then, Riley? I used to, but not anymore. Okay. I'm going to kind of focus on yep. the, the farm. And FFA, and I show cattle and pigs, so I kind of get like to work on them. That gives you a lot to do, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Time-consuming, but it's really fun. I like it. Very rewarding yep. right, as well. So what about uh, if you're looking at next year, what you like to do? So I think I'm going into Southwest Tech for going to study ag business. Some of the sales from your animals can probably go toward tuition, too. Right? Yep. Um that and I got a job too. So okay, where do you work at? Then? Uh, I work at Hennessy Implement in Dodgeville. Awesome. My grandpa owns it. So yeah. So what do they have you do there? Um, now I'm putting together like machinery and I wash equipment and stuff like that. Just wow. tinkle around a little bit around the shop and yeah, it's pretty fun. I like it a lot. Yeah, that's a great opportunity to learn behind the scenes, isn't yep. it? So that way someday you can fix your own stuff if you have to. (laughs) Yeah. Well, we appreciate you coming in here to to join us. And then do you give uh, the next year's officers a pep talk when when the year is done? Or how how are you going to do that? Um, I'll probably, like, teach them what to do and kind of, like, just don't jump out of my shoes. Just help them fill my own shoes so that I don't just leave them with all the work. Yeah. Very good. Sounds good. And then you can come back uh, maybe as an alumnus then and help out in some of those events too, can't yeah, you? Yeah, we got a alumni growing, so I think I don't know how many members they're at, but they're growing pretty strong. Riley, thanks for coming in today. Thank you. Riley Wanick joining us during National FFA Week from the Riverdale FFA.
Mallory Meese joins us on WRCO Radio, an officer with the Riverdale FFA. Uh, welcome to the broadcast. Thank you. Have you enjoyed your time with the Riverdale FFA? I have. Mm-hmm. What do you like the most about it? Um, I don't know, like the atmosphere, I guess. Everybody's really nice. And there's a lot of opportunities. How often does the FFA meet? Oh, uh, once a month. Okay. And what do you do at your meetings? Um, we talk about upcoming events and make sure that everybody's updated on like what's to come. Make sure everybody knows what's going on and all that kind of stuff. Miss Co keeps you going with all the things that are going on and things like that. Yep. She has a great job for you, doesn't she? Yes, yeah, she does. Have you had any animals at the school this year? Um, yeah, in the animal lab, we've had goats, cattle. We're incubating chicken eggs right now, and we also have rabbits in there right now. Oh, that's fun. So with the chicken eggs, do you do anything special with them this year? Um, so far, we all we oh, actually, we incubate them every incubate them all the time and we candle them every now and then make sure they're also going and then the other day we actually um put the coloring in there so that when they're when they hatch the chickens will be colored for a while (laughs) oh that's cute i never heard of that (laughs) oh that's fun how how awesome is that to have animals right there and that hands-on learning experience oh it's great because you can apply what you already have, what you already know, and then you can, you know, put it farther. And the animals that you don't have or don't have any experience with, you learn so much from them, too. A lot of the students in the FFA probably do have experience with animals, maybe have them at home, but, but not everybody does. So yeah. it's a great opportunity, isn't it? Mm-hmm. What are some other things you're involved in at Riverdale Schools, Mallory? Um, like sports-wise, I do cross-country and track. Okay, and uh, you've had some good good success there with those two teams, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> sure, lots of lots of good numbers. You like running? Yeah, I do. Really? See, I always thought it was a punishment. When yeah, I was... not everybody likes it. No, but uh, <laughs> but that's good. Um, and as, in terms of the farm, have you done some things at the Riverdale um, farm? Um, all, I've done pumpkin carving out there. So when we bring the elementary school kids out and they get to carve pumpkins with us. And then we give them to the nursing home after they're done. Oh, awesome. Yeah. So what have you learned from FFA that maybe you can use later in life? Any ideas? I learned I have a lot of leadership skills that I haven't had before. Um, not ever been very good at talking, speaking publicly. I've been working on that, <laughs> working on that. And, you know, what you learn on the farm is great. But like when you go to conferences and stuff to learn from, like, farmers and their experiences... And, you know, what they've learned through the years, you learn a lot that way, too. Would you like to stay involved in agriculture? Yeah, I would. I'd like to stay on our dairy farm. Okay. Wow. And what grade are you in school this year? I'm a sophomore. Sophomore. So you got a little ways to go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What Would you like to hold some other officer positions? Um, I would like to be vice president by the time I graduate. Okay. I don't know if president's for me, though. <laughs> <laughs> so you can be a Caleb Tracy then someday. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's, your, he's your vice president. <laughs> yep. Oh, that's that's awesome. The school year is going by really quickly, isn't oh, it? Oh, yeah. And you guys recently had contest, And uh, are there some other things coming up in the spring that the FFA is involved in? Yeah. So <laughs> we have coming up, we have Dan the Hill on Sunday. And then mm-hmm. other some things, the greenhouse, I know. So, oh, yeah, the greenhouse, and then we do that um, plant sale. That's always fun. Yeah, and you get involved. Do you, do you help plant the plants then as well? Mm-hmm. So the classes that Ms. Co has, she has, you know, everybody gets it started, and then we kind of take over. And then you sell them, too. Yep, we do. To the community. Yep. And then kind of get some of that money to help start some other things. Mm-hmm. Great. So it's, it's been a fun FFA week and uh, things like that. Are you going on to any competitions? I know you recently had a competition at Ithaca, didn't you? Yeah. So usually I'm a dairy judger, but this year for the upcoming event, I decided to try marketing. <laughs> what, what's marketing involved? So you uh, get an idea. So like say they give you a pro like not product, but like a general thing, like say you get like milk and you have to try to think of a product. Um, that uses the milk, and then you have to think of a name for it. You have to think of a price. You know, everything that would go into marketing a new product, That was that's probably what we're going to have to do. And have you been judged on that yet, then? No, but when we went to Farm Forum yesterday, um, me and Stella Beery went into uh, marketing. That sounds like a tough section. It really does. Yeah, we... 
I got put on the spot for a lot of stuff that I was not prepared for. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all a part of the learning process, yep. isn't it? Great. So, well, we appreciate you coming and take the time to talk to us, and good luck with the rest of the FFA year. Thank you. You bet. Mallory Meese here on WRCO during National FFA Week, and we'll be back with more of the morning show coming up. Our morning show continues during National FFA Week. We're talking to members of the Riverdale uh, officers and, and group. Next up, we have Stella Berry. How are you, Stella? Good. How are you? Wonderful. And uh, tell me about uh, what, what position do you hold with the officer team? I am the reporter, and I mainly like maintain social media, such as like Facebook and Instagram. And yeah. why is that important? Um, it helps like connect to the community and like let them know what we're doing, and it also helps keep members um, like informed on what we're doing. And it really helps like remind people like we need to get th certain things done and like upcoming events, which is really cool. Probably uh, keeps the people in the community informed of what you're doing, doesn't it? Yeah, it does really well. And we have like a lot of people in the community like t saying like, "Oh, we'll donate this," or telling us like. Um, that they want to either buy something, like we're doing strawberry sales right now, and I actually just turned them in, and we have people in the community like commenting like, hey, we'll order this, even if they don't know FFA members, which is cool because sometimes people don't know people in FFA and they want to still support us. Sure. Mm -hmm. Somebody that had somebody in school maybe mm -hmm. years ago, but they yeah. don't have a connection anymore, yeah. so mm -hmm. that works out really well. Mm -hmm. The uh, Riverdale FFA is kind of a, a proven commodity. People know that yeah. you guys get things done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, and, and you've got some sales going on this spring, I understand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We just finished up, like, wrapped up our cookie dough and strawberry sales, which is kind of like a fundraiser for us, but, yeah, it's super good quality strawberries and cookie dough that we all enjoy, Ooh, so. Cookie dough. <laughs> uh, I know. It's very awesome. good. <laughs> sure. So, uh, what do you do at your meetings when the uh, FFA gets together? Um, well, we really talk about our old business, which is, like, all the things that we did in the past month and, like, things that we've either done since our last meeting, and then we talk about new things that are, like, coming up, and then we usually talk about um, kind of, like, the things that we have up and coming that we might need help with or things like that, and then we usually have, like, food for to keep the members engaged and want to come. <laughs> sure. That, yeah. And that's a big group of mm -hmm. FFA members. A uh, mm -hmm. uh, good percentage of the school wears the blue jackets, don't yes, they? Yes, it is. It's a good amount. And we've we've had like a lot of people joining and it's really cool to see like people that maybe just be juniors and seniors joining just this year. It's super cool to see. Sure. Yeah. So you don't necessarily have to be out all four years. You can nope. join whenever. Mm -hmm. Have Have you been a member since uh, your freshman year? Uh, I've been a member since my sophomore year, but I was a member at my old school my freshman year because I just moved here my sophomore year. Okay. Yeah. Sure. How are the chapters different? Um, well, I've never really dealt with like a ton of other chapters, but we recently went to an LDE competition, which is leadership development events. And we saw like the other chapters and we had a big, it felt like we had a decent amount of people like participating versus like a few other chapters only brought like one or two people or something like that, which is really cool to see, especially for our school. But we also got to talk to like Ithaca and I think uh, maybe a few other schools about like kind of what they're doing. And it was kind of cool to see. Um, how they participated in some events that we never thought of, but we we participated in events that they didn't even know about either. So Yeah, it's interesting how you can kind of help one another out a little bit, mm -hmm. can't you? Mm -hmm. Share ideas? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> did you get involved in any competition then? Uh, yeah, I did employment skills, which is like a mock job interview kind of thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we talked to someone else that, that had the yeah, too. Yeah. Yeah. So that really puts you on the spot, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah, it did. And we, I, I'm assuming, was it Wyatt? Uh -huh. Yeah, he talked to like, we each like um, interview for a position. So it was really cool. I did something that was kind of correlated to being a reporter. I did social media coordinator position for Riverdale Ag Service. So that was kind of cool to kind of incorporate my like interest in social media into like an actual job. Yeah, social media is becoming more and more mm -hmm. important to the farm, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, definitely. It surely has been. And uh, some opportunities there uh, coming up for you. What what about a career? Um, I kind of have an interest in like marketing, that I business marketing idea. So I don't really have like an exact career picked out yet, but I definitely after high school want to go to either a four year, two year and get a degree in either marketing. Um, there's like digital marketing, something I'm not very sure on yet. But like, like specifically the college, but I definitely have an interest in it. So, yeah. yeah. 
Well, good luck with that. I know I know you'll do really well. And um, you'll probably maybe someday come back and be a member of the Riverdale Alumnus. Uh, oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> group someday, then, mm-hmm. too. So, Ms. Coe gets uh, everything done there. It's amazing how many avenues, uh, how many hats that she wears, isn't it? Yeah, I know. She does wear a lot of hats. <laughs> yeah, she really does. So, and then uh, animals at the farm. I hear you've been incubating some tr- chickens. And oh, yeah, there's definitely a lot of, like, we've had... I think rabbits, and then we're incubating, and then we she had some goats in there recently. And then we have, I took large animal science last semester, and she brought in a lot of different animals for our class to see, which is really cool. What are some other things you're involved in at Riverdale? Um, I play volleyball. Well, I did play volleyball. I finished up my last season in the fall, and then I did track for a few years, so yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. and maybe this year? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. <Yeah. laughs> we appreciate you coming in, Stella. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, enjoy your, your rest of your year here with the FFA. Thank you. You bet. Stella Berry on WRCO's Morning Show. Next, we move to Carter Dagenhart, another officer with the Riverdale FFA. Uh, what position do you hold, Carter? I'm the parliamentarian. And so what do you do, keep peace at the meeting then? Yep. That must not be too tough a job, though, is it? No, we got Caden Anderson. He does a pretty good job at that. Oh, he helps too. Yep. <laughs> okay. So you're a sophomore. Yep. And what do you like most about FFA? Uh, it's definitely getting to work with people and going to events and getting to meet new people and talking to people you never met before. Yeah, making friends from other schools, yep. right? And kind of that uh, old-fashioned networking a little bit, isn't yep. it? Sure. Um, and then uh, for your, what's your favorite project the FFA is involved in during the uh, year? It's definitely got to be the Food for America. Tell me about that. So we bring out fourth graders to our school farm and to the Storms' farm, and we do, we take them around, and we have different stations set up to teach them about different things that we have in agriculture, and they learn a lot at that, and they have they really enjoy it. Yeah. Do you remember as a youngster doing that with uh, maybe the older students? We didn't start this till. Probably two or three years ago. Okay. Wow. Well, that's that's a lot of fun, though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. Kind of giving back. Probably will maybe help the numbers for the FFA yep. years down the road, won't it? Get more people interested in it. Sure. What's your favorite part of the uh, the school farm? Uh, oh, there's a lot of different parts out there. Uh, the JMAC Center is pretty nice, and we got just got this last year. And then I, I like doing the crop work out there, too. That's pretty interesting. Uh huh. Do you get to drive the tractors then? And yeah. Do you? Uh huh. And the and the FFA actually owns some equipment too. Uh, we have a deal with Richie's. We get a tractor for, I think we put 180 hours on it, and then they for resale purposes, and then other people bring our tractors out there to do farm work too. Do you fight over who's going to get a chance to drive those tractors or not? No, most people don't actually want to drive that. Though. Oh, okay. Especially when, this last fall when we were harvesting, it was getting chilly out there. Oh, sure. <laughs> but boy, does that get you ready for the real world, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah. So what about uh, the future? Have you thought about what you'd like to do for a career, Carter? Oh, uh, I've thought about it. I don't, I'm not fully sure what I'm going to do yet. I might do something with my dad's tire business. I might... Even go into like forestry or by uh, wildlife biology. You got a lot of time though. Yeah. Yeah. You're just a sophomore. Yeah. I got year. a couple more years to decide. Sure. Are you going to shoot for another officer position with the FFA? Yep. Keep moving up. I don't know what I want. Though. Moving up the chain a little yep. bit. Sure. And uh, anything that you'd like to see the FFA do? Maybe some things that uh, they could branch out with here in the future? I don't really know. We do a lot. Yeah, you, Since Ms. Coe's been around, we've been doing a lot more activities with the younger kids and getting out there a little more. Yeah, you really have. You're real real visible there and selling yep. some things in the spring yep. and marketing. How's this, how the sale of your, your crops go? Uh, we did pretty good. We only sold our first half so far, but our second half should do pretty good this spring yet. But. Holding on to it right yep. now. And, and you watch the prices and things yep. like that? So well, waiting, that's, waiting for the right time. That's a real good education too, yep. is it? Yeah. Uh, what about some other things you're involved in at Riverdale Schools? Uh, I do football, powerlifting, and uh, baseball. How's the powerlifting team doing, Carter? Uh, we're doing pretty good. I think we got mm, five or six people going to state, and uh, I think I'm number four right now for my weight class. Good. Wow. So how much have you have you lifted? What's your best? Uh, total wise between. All three, I've had twelve fifty-five before. My goodness. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. And who's your coach for the powerlifting team? Uh, Jeff Johnson. 
Okay. Yeah, you guys have got a rich tradition of powerlifting, yep. don't you? Good deal. Well, we appreciate you coming in to take the time to talk to us and enjoy the rest of FFA week here. Oh, thank you. You bet. Carter Dagenhardt of the Riverdale FFA. Next up, we have Caden Anderson. Caden, uh, what position do you hold with the officers? I am the Sentinel. The Sentinel. All right, so what do you do with that? Uh, I greet people who come to our meetings, and I keep the meeting floor happy, stable environment for is that everyone. A, is that a hard thing to do? No. Miss Coe and everyone... The kids are pretty good in our FFA, so they all kind of work together, and it's a good environment. Are you involved in other clubs at Riverdale? No, I'm just involved in FFA. Okay, and so it's got to be your favorite thing, right? Yep. <laughs> so what about uh, contests? Have you gotten to any of those, Caden? I do a lot of livestock judging. Um, last couple of years we made it to state, so we're pretty good at it. When, good does, at that, it. when does that come around again, Caden? That will be coming up spring break. We'll be starting livestock judging, yep. So everybody else is kicking back and relaxing. You'll be just getting to work, yeah. won't you? Yep. Sure. And you go to Madison for that, then, for the judging? Uh, we'll go to Platteville. Okay. And then after that, yeah. So Platteville's the first step, then, yep. to, to make it through. Okay. So what have you learned from FFA? What do, you, what do you really like about it? I'd say I've really learned to go out and find new people and learn from other people that have the same interests as I do, kind of. Well, it's it's a good opportunity to meet people from other schools yeah. and everything and uh, kind of network that way. Yeah, network, yeah. The old-fashioned way a little bit. And, you know, it's it's wonderful because the connections you make now as a high school student, who knows, down the line you might be working with some of these people again somewhere along the yeah. way. Yeah. Right. Um, in terms of uh, the other things you're involved in at Riverdale, uh, anything else you'd like to talk about? Not much. I just do livestock uh, showing, so uh -huh. I show a lot of beef cattle. That's pretty much involved in FFA. That's mainly my big thing. And that's a year-round thing, yep. isn't it? And w what about sports? Are you in any sports nope. at Riverdale? Okay. Takes up most of my time, livestock I'm guessing showing. It, I'm guessing it does, right. So um, in terms of the farm, are you involved in anything there at the at the school farm? Oh, yeah. We do a harvest every year, so I tend to help them out as much as I can and just kind of be there for anything they need. And uh, that, that season ended, and now you're yep. already planning ahead to the next season. Yep. So as a group, do they figure out what you're going to plant, how much you're going to plant, and who, who does that for you? So we have two farm managers, Chase and Jordan. They do a lot of the planning. Uh, we rotate from soybeans to corn every year, and then we have a test plot. We kind of get donated seed, and that's where we test different varieties out. So seed companies, that's a, a great benefit for them to, to get out there and, yep. and and donate, isn't it? So Because seed's not cheap. No. Yeah. So what is it going to be this year? Is it corn or soybeans? At the It'll point? be soybeans this year. Okay, good. And the corn, I understand, uh, you still got to sell some of it yet. Yep. We have still some in storage, yep. Yeah. So what have you learned from that aspect about cropping and raising crops and, and selling? So on my family farm, we do a lot of just hay. Um, crops was kind of a new thing for me, so it was very interesting to get out there and help on those that aspect. Um, corn and soybeans, it's a way different world than just doing hay and beef cattle. Right. So you've learned there, maybe, maybe you'll plant some corn yeah. and soybeans someday. Would you like to go back to the farm someday? Yep. That, I'd like to stay on the family farm so and that's expand it. Boy, that warms my heart right there, you know? <laughs> I know there's a young person that wants to come yeah. back and farm. Yeah. So... Uphill battles, obviously, but uh, sounds yep. like it's something that's going to bring you some joy. Hopefully. You bet. <laughs> what What about Miss Coe? Can you say anything about her? And Miss Coe has been a great addition to our FFA. She's brought a lot of things and a lot of opportunities for any kid that wants to join. I mean, any background you have, Miss Coe can find something that you'll be interested in. So if the uh, Riverdale FFA um, raffles off that farm all B, yep. um, is there anything that I can pull on your farm with that farm all B or not? Does it have enough horsepower to... Yeah, a little equipment. Yeah. Uh, maybe hay operation you can pull around. A small load, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> well, I hope so. It sounds like you might be doing that. And you're putting together another old tractor, too, in yep. the shop, aren't you? Yep, we're restoring another one for uh, another guy. Mm -hmm. Do you know what kind it is? It's another farm all, but I'm not sure the size. What great life skills you guys yeah. are learning, isn't it? And and perhaps maybe someday you'll be tearing one apart yourself. Yeah, I plan on it. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, Caden, thanks for coming in and joining us. Yeah, thank you. Happy FFA week. Yep.
Next up here is Chase McGuire, one of the Riverdale officers. How you doing, Chase? Uh, pretty good. How about you? Wonderful. Good to have you in here. What uh, officer position do you hold? I am the historian. All right. Do you like that job? Yeah, it's pretty easy. I just help everybody else with uh, whatever else they really need help with. If they need a hand doing something, I'll go and help them do that. And that's about it. With the title, I would assume that it's something to do with the, the history of the Riverdale. Yeah, I do uh, scrapbooks or help them if we got a meeting or something to help them figure out whatever we got to talk about. And then I do historian, and then I'm the farm manager, too, with the FFA. Boy, that's a full-time job, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I do a lot over there at the school farm. So tell me about being the manager. Are you right now kind of planning the crops out for the year? Yep. We've been calling around trying to get donations for seed, and uh, we got to bring the planter back over to the school now because we got to start getting that all set up, and we got to rebuild that so it's all ready. And then start, I think, April 15th or something, we're going to start trying to get in there and plant. So who does the tilling and everything? Does the school do that as well? No, uh, it'll be, it's me and then a buddy. We're both the farm managers, and we both have farms, so we bring our stuff in if we need to till it. So, so far for the school farm, we just have a couple tractors and then a planter now that we bought in the last year or two. So we have a planter, and then... If me or, me or him will bring something, though, till it, and then we'll plant it. And then uh, Riverdale Egg does a lot of the spraying and fertilizer, and that's pretty much it until crop season comes around. Then the other farm manager will bring his combine, and I'll bring a couple wagons, and then a couple other farmers from the school. They'll come together, and we'll bring a couple other tractors and wagons and go to Riverdale Egg. Well, it sounds like a real community effort there. Oh, yeah. It's, whole school gets involved. Yeah. Get out of school, so that's okay. <laughs> so that's a lot of fun. It is. Putting it together and kind of managing your time and everything like that. How did the crops do last year? It was kind of last a tough year. It, was, was, it wasn't too good. I mean, we did. it was a lot better than we thought. There's some crappy spots, some good <laughs> spots. and I mean, test plot, oh, we had a crap ton of, uh, we did a test plot. So you had a bunch of different varieties, and we had, oh, I want to say, Probably almost like 30 some different companies and different brands of seed. And uh, that did four rows for the width of the field. And it, there was just a lot. There's a lot. That, some of those brands did a lot better than others. Some weren't really good for the sand. Mm -hmm. But um, besides that, it was pretty good. Isn't it amazing, though? I noticed last year it just depended on when it was planted. Yep. You know, you'd have fields like that adjoin one another, but if one was planted just a little earlier at the right time yep. for the it's rain or whatever. and Two feet different. Yeah, and then one would take off and, yep. and the other wouldn't. So you, you got a little bit more corn to sell, it sounds yep. like. We got we uh, sold, we put it all in uh, storage, sold half eventually, or probably like a couple months ago, sold half, and then... Now we just got half that we're going to sell a little bit later. See what prices do. Are you involved in some other things uh, as far as uh, contests or anything like that? I do it was judging. Uh, last last year I did egg bit, or egg mac, I guess we would call it. And then year before that I did meats. And this year I'm going to do dairy, I think. It's, uh, during spring break we got to go do some judging there. Boy, it gives you a, really a, a wide spectrum of everything, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. There's a, there's a lot of judging spots. There's there's just a ton. Are you involved in some other sports? Yeah, I do uh, wrestling. Mm -hmm. And that's gone pretty well for you? Yep. Got to wrestle this weekend, see if we make it out or not. Yeah. If we don't, I guess. Good luck with that. Yeah. You got uh, you had eight at uh, regionals go on, and yep. so that's almost like the full team, isn't it? Yeah, we had quite a bit make it out. It was, it was a good weekend. Yeah, definitely was. So wrestling kind of goes in hand, uh, hand in hand, I think, a little bit with farming. There's a lot of hard work yep, involved. A lot of work and a yeah. lot of sweat and got to work as hard as you can try and get through. Trying to get it going. Yeah. But but a lot of satisfaction when all is said and done. Yep. If you do good, it's worth it. What would you like to do when your schooling days at Riverdale are done? Uh, probably run the family farm or... Uh, Probably do something with like trucking or mechanic. Mm -hmm. One of those three. Yeah. Using some of your skills you learned in FFA, I'm yep. sure. Using a lot of that. The egg mechanics and things like that. Yep. So were you involved in putting the tractor yep. back together? As uh me and two buddies. 
we did it all. That's that's crazy. Yeah. You probably had to go back and learn a lot about some of those old motors, didn't you? Oh, we had, yeah. It was, we got uh, took the whole wiring us, uh, harness off of it when we first got it, and it was all, uh, wires were ripped and dry rotted and stuff, so we, Miss Co. found a website that sold a lot of those old parts, and they had a refurbished wiring harness and a big, long sheet of... This wire goes to this. This wire goes there too. This one goes there, and so we sat there for about a week trying to figure that out, and we couldn't get the fire in order right. And we finally got that right. That's awesome. And it, it was it was a big sigh of relief once it finally started up. Yeah, I was gonna say, what was that moment like when you, you were able to? I presume use the crank at first and, and yep. see how and it then, goes. <laughs> yeah. I was in study hall and I got a text saying it started, so I sprinted as fast as I could down there and <laughs> drove across the football field and back and it was running really good. There you go. As your your baby was Yeah, she was set, started back set up. free. Yeah, she's ready to go. <laughs> well that's awesome. So what what grade are you this year? Uh junior. You're a junior, so you got another year of high yeah, school. Yeah, one more year still. So. Yeah. So are you kind of shooting for maybe another officer position next yeah, year? Yeah. I'll probably go for uh vice president or something. Okay. Do you have to run for that office? Do you have to make a campaign speech? Uh, hopefully not. <laughs> hopefully not. Hopefully not. Uh, you, you've been a great guest, and, and good luck the rest of the way here. Thank you. You bet. Chase McGuire joining us from the Riverdale FFA. Next is the the fearless leader of all of this that we, we've just heard from some awesome students from Riverdale, and uh, Miss Callie Co joins us. Uh, Callie, has it been a good year with Riverdale FFA? Yes, it has. It's been an awesome year. I have a a great group of leaders, and I have a, just a phenomenal um, group of members this year in general. And I think they're just starting to come out of their shell, and we're really finding our we're just finding our our rhythm, and and our our group of leaders is really driving that. When when they're telling stories about uh, the support they get from the community, you have to consider yourself very fortunate that you get that kind of support, don't you? Absolutely, absolutely. And I find that the the more we advertise the kids' successes, the more support we get. And people, want, you know, we have people come out of the woodwork to help in lots of ways that, you know, if they just needed to know that it was out there. And um, the more, like I said, the more success we have, the the more people see like, okay, well, these kids are really they're willing to work, they're willing to put in the time, they have interest in these things, like, I'll, I'm willing to help. And I think that has been, you know, one of the biggest things is just getting out there what we do and and push out there that kids are willing to work and do a good job. And, and that's, I mean, we have people that are more than willing to help in the, from our community for anything you could possibly imagine. Well, you were here a year ago, Callie, and you were talking about the opening of the Jack Meister building and all that stuff. Here it's been almost a year. Uh, what a benefit that has been for you as well. Yeah, that has been awesome. I Yeah, it's kind of funny to think about because, um, I mean, the last month or so here when we had that like 12 inches of snow we didn't get out there very much um but yeah spring coming and and we're you know looking at getting back out there here in like a couple weeks and utilizing that facility we used it a bunch this fall really really hard actually and i I was actually out on maternity leave so the officers used it a bunch more than i did even and i came to events when i could and whatnot but this group has really been the ones to see it through they saw you know they saw the beginning two years ago when we started just started talking about it they have seen the you know the building process and now the utilization of it and you know we're going to graduate some kids this year that really kind of are the reason it got started uh, it sounds like from the ones that I interviewed, especially too, that you don't have to get out there and motivate them a lot. I think a lot of them are pretty self-motivated to get the job done, aren't they? Absolutely. Absolutely. The biggest thing is, you know, like I, I don't require FFA to be their first and only priority. And I think that that's kind of, you know, important as well, that they realize that they can be involved in as many things as they want to be. And, you know, when they're on the officer team, they they make FFA their priority. I don't I don't say that that has to be your priority and and they they choose it and that's what i think you know it it says a lot about them in terms of their leadership because they made that choice and and they want to see they want to see their chapter be successful they want to be successful and ultimately i think it it makes us successful as a district you may you wear a lot of hats because you're going in every which uh, every, every which way is there a part of it that you enjoy the most kelly um yeah i so in february is a busy busy month for us i mean <clears throat> Just today alone, you know, we have our interview. I had regular classes plus some guest speakers. I have animals in my lab. I was just telling the kids, like, I got to get these kindling boxes in. We got rabbits that are going to have babies next week. I have fruit orders, strawberry orders to count tonight yet. 
Um, plus, we have a big group of FFA proficiencies, and the application date is today. Um, and that's like a big award area for us that I want kids to be successful in. My favorite part of the job is just seeing kids be successful. It's really fun to work. Like I like proficiencies, for example. I've been looking at those, you know, 40, 50 hours last couple of weeks. It's really cool. Like I know everything about their 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 job outside of school. So proficiencies are about SAEs. It's about their, you know, work placement outside of school that's ag related, basically. So a couple of the officers have them. I mean, we're talking, these kids have generated money to take them to college. We know how many they've, how many lambs they've had, how many piglets they've sold. We sit down and just work all this out. And I just always think it's really cool to be that involved in, in their lives and know like, you know, I can, I can point back and say like, you know, how much do we spend on this cow? And when I, when I see them later, it just gives me another thing to talk to them about and to check in on and. It's really awesome seeing them be successful with their own things and also just to have that that close of a relationship with them in some ways in agriculture things. You bet. And see them on down the road, maybe when they've they've settled in, in life, uh, you know, that's gotta be really satisfying too. Oh yeah, very and like they're they're gonna be successful no matter what direction they go. But it's cool to be a part of that experience and to to provide them with an uh, an opportunity, like I said, to to win an award, to get some money for their projects, to be there for them, um, you know, outside of school, almost in that aspect. I know FFA is intracurricular, but um, you know, I don't think they're going to their other teachers in the building and talking about their income and their expenses. I mean, um, for their specific animal units, they might they might talk about check writing and that kind of you know, and their their current non current answers. But we know that to a T in my room, and I think that's kind of cool. Did the teams a team go to uh, nationals this year? Anybody go from Riverdale? We did go to national convention, and again, I was on maternity leave, so thank you to Paul. Uh, Paul Marshall took them, which is uh, who was at Riverdale before me. He took a group of eight. They were awesome. They had a great time. It was a group that I was not worried about being without me. I mean, they it was pretty much the group here on the radio today. So they did a fantastic job. Um, we didn't compete down there this year, but they saw a lot of really neat things. They went on some great tours. They went to Case IH in Racine. Um, they went to um, Fair Oak Farms in Indiana. And then they, uh, of course, spent some time at the, the National FFA Career Expo as well. And they, they've had good things to say. Um, but unfortunately, I was unable to go. But I, like I said, great group to send. And so you're getting into the season where you're going to be planting. We talked to some of the students about that. Uh, it won't be long. You'll be out there moving the good earth, right? Yes. We bought a corn planter last year, so we've been talking about that. I just said today to Chase while we were outside here, I said, we should probably get that in the shop and start looking at it, huh? <laughs> we got <laughs> about done. a month. We better, yeah, we better start going through it. I think it it'll it was in pretty good shape when we bought it, but it's always another learning experience. We're going to go through some stuff. We, we have another tractor to restore this year, and yeah, we just, I like it. It's we're moving by projects like I, that's how I move throughout my day it's not like what's my next subject it's what's my next my next project I can work on for 45 minutes and then we move on I think project-based learning though is the most exciting way to learn in my opinion that hands-on aspect lots of young women in the group as well um, what's the the percentage of of boys and girls involved in your FFA chapter any idea I think we're a little below 50 percent on girls I think maybe 45 65 is where we're at that's not bad um, huh? nope and like girls are absolutely a large part of FFA chapters anymore that's becoming very very especially the leadership aspect of of FFA really um, draws in that group of um, passionate females for the egg industry I would say our chapter is a little bit more a little bit more guys still but um I don't think it's really one one way or one reason or another. I just think that um, we we have a lot of different opportunities for both genders out there. For you know anybody that has a passion for it could be from leadership to milk products to mechanics. It's just that we we do tend to be a little heavy on the school farm stuff, you sure. know. So that that just that brings in a kind of a unique crowd and um, I, male or female it doesn't matter as long as you're passionate about egg. And you'll be planting for the your big plant sale coming up here for your greenhouse before too long. Won't yep, you? we started some already. Greenhouse is kind of kind of in swing, not full swing, but um, we'll have a couple more shipments of plugs coming in next week, and then we'll get started on some vegetable seeds. Hard to believe gardening season is coming, so we'll be we'll be starting some of those uh, germinating seeds right around March first. We start some of those so. Well, you do a great job. Thanks for bringing along those students today. And anything else you'd like to add here during FFA week? It's a special week. 
It is, yes. Um, it's always fun to celebrate. I think we have a phenomenal group of kids. I think uh, FFA is absolutely one of the greatest youth organizations in the country, um, and that we are we are known for our professionalism, our career success, and our and the personal growth that these kids have. And I just appreciate everybody that supports us day in and day out, especially um, the Riverdale community. Callie, thanks for coming in today. Thanks for having me. Callie Coe, joining us during National FFA Week on WRCO.